What's up guys? So before I start today's video, I have a funny little story to tell. So right after I maxed out Carl on my main account, I went over to my mini account, Big Fat Noob, to try and get him. But I actually ended up pulling Spike before I pulled Carl, which is funny because Spike's a legendary and Carl's only a super rare. So really, I should have got Carl before I got Spike. But anyways, let's get right into today's video. Lifetime in Hey, what's going on guys, Dragon Dog here, welcome back to another Brawl Stars video. So in today's video, Carl was just released, and right now we are buying him with gems. I decided not to open him with boxes, just because I didn't have too many this time. So I decided to use whatever boxes I had to max him out to level 9, and then try to get his star power. Now in the background is just me opening all the boxes. And originally, I did want to upload this video a little bit ago, as soon as Carl came out, but I wasn't able to get his star power, so I was just like, oh, okay, I'll wait till the next day, so when the shop resets, it'll be in the shop. But nope, it wasn't in the shop the next day, and then I waited till the next day, and it wasn't in the shop, but then finally today, his star power is finally in the shop. And I wasn't going to waste another 100 or 200 or even 300 boxes. Because I've seen a lot of people open a lot of boxes just to get a star power. And I felt like it just wasn't worth it. And I just wait till it happened. So before we get into the rest of the video trolling the noobs. I just wanted to go over Carl and his stats and everything. So I played Carl on my mini account without the star power. And he is usable. He's just a lot harder to use. I noticed that with the star power it is a significant difference. So if you can get the star power, I would 100% get it because throwing the axe a little bit faster does make a difference and it does increase the DPS, which allows you to kill the enemy faster. However, even if you don't have the star power, I do think you could utilize him in a certain way, meaning when you throw your pickaxe out and you move to the right, your pickaxe follows you. So let's say there's a wall and the enemy is hiding behind the wall. You throw your pickaxe out and you move to the right, you do have a chance to hit the enemy because the pickaxe will go through the wall and it'll also swing a little bit more towards the right. With the star power, it would be a lot harder to do that because the pickaxe will go faster and there's not as much travel time. So overall, I do believe there are pros and cons to having the star power. And I think personally that Supercell should just rework the star power or maybe give a little change to Carl to fix him. Okay, so hopping into the first game of Showdown, we have a box right in front of us, and a little trick I use is whenever you throw the axe, you wanna throw it against the wall, because then the axe will hit the wall and return to you a lot faster. Another trick you could do is if you throw the axe, you can run forward to it, and that will reduce the time it takes for the axe to actually travel back to you. So right after I got that first box, I decided to rush the mid, and as you can see, I was hiding behind the box so that the pipe would shoot the box, and not only was I doing that, I was throwing my axe to kind of push the piper away from me. So I was also killing the box and getting protection from the piper all at the same time. So I noticed that nobody else was going for these boxes. So I just decided to push the boxes and get a lot more power-ups than I did before. So now I have six power-ups and I see two Carls are fighting. So I decided to get in on it. And this is the little trick I do right here. I shoot my axe. Oh, wait. I shoot my axe and then I go more towards the right so that my axe will travel and hit him. So this is what I was talking about earlier, which could be helpful if you don't have your star power because the axe will take longer, will take a longer time to travel, making it easier to do the drag technique to hit the brawler behind the wall. So right now I noticed that the bow took out the Carl, but the bow was also low. So I decided to push up towards the bow so he'd back away and I could get the power ups. But unfortunately, I totally forgot about the mines and I got hit by two of them. I do 1600 damage per hit with eight power ups though, which is really nice because if I get a full shot on someone, I do over 3200 damage. So right now, I'm just kind of playing it passive. I'm waiting for the right time to attack. And I notice the bow goes a little bit aggressive and I get a nice shot onto him. I do over 3200 damage to him, pushing him back. And now the car and the bow are kind of fighting right now. And the bow just took out the Carl, and as you can see here, the bow's super low, so I pick up this power-up, and I just decide to push him. And I almost hit the mine again. Right now, I'm doing 1,700 damage a shot, but I just decided to super in, doing 1,064 damage per swing, and I take him out really easily, picking up the first place. Going into our final game here, this is a really nice game. 
So I spawned with two boxes right next to me and another Carl. So I noticed right off the bat that the Carl has less health than me. That means he's a much lower level than me. So I know I could take him out if it's just a 1v1 situation without any power-ups. But I do kind of go behind the box to let him take it out a little bit. And then I finish off the box to get the power-up. And I'm able to take him out much easier. I noticed the bow got the other power-up. So I decided just not to push it and go for this other box right here. And I do the wall technique to get the box really quickly. So right after getting this box, I decided to push back up to see if I could find the bow. But over here, I wanted to pre-fire my shot. But I wanted to get the jump on him, so I decided not to at the end. I noticed right around here that the bow is coming up with six power-ups. And I see that a Frank ends up tagging him, and I got a good shot on him. I also have my super available, so I decided to super in to get really close to him, hitting him a little bit, and finishing him off with one shot. Now I have six power-ups, and I kinda bait, I'm trying to bait the Frank towards the mines. Because I did see that uh, the boat placed down mines before he died. Frank did end up taking the bait and going down, hitting the mine. And I used the wall technique on Frank to actually kill him a lot faster than I could have. The Frank was really low after he used the super and the other Carl was actually able to take him out. And the other Carl tries to super me, but I had more power-ups and my super available and I ended up taking out the Carl. Now I have 11 power-ups and I'm only versing one power-up hand, so I'm really confident right now. And now it's time for a little bit of trolling. Right now I'm trying to find the Pam, but I'm trying my best not to kill him. I do 1881 damage per hit. And that's a combined hit total of over 3,700 damage, which is just crazy. And I could take her out in two shots if I need to. So right now I'm just hitting my pickaxe against the wall, trolling a little bit. And I'm also, right around now, I decided to charge my super. So I do bait out the shot. I'm kind of trolling with her right now, seeing if maybe she'll walk into the gas and kill herself. But no, she doesn't decide to do that. So I'm just shooting her and then I'm backing up, letting her heal up. So I can charge my super, but I'm being very careful not to kill her. I do take out the heal station because I don't want her healing up or getting that extra HP on me. So now that I'm only one shot from my super and I see that Pam's full HP, I shoot her once and now I have my super. Now I'm just waiting for the gas to completely enclose. I was trying to decide at this point if I wanted the gas to kill her or if I wanted to kill her by myself. So I'm spinning right now, waiting for her to attack me. As you can see, I actually juke out some of her shots here, which is kind of funny, but the gas is finally enclosed. I decide to use, actually kill her myself because I just wanted to end the game, but that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you enjoyed, remember to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Say peace.